Whoa. That was sent. Hey guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Today we're going to tackle a common problem many golfers face, hitting fairway woods. I'll explain why this can be so challenging and show you a fantastic Amy Fi drill using the precision impact training tool to help you master your fairway woods. Let's talk about why golfers struggle with fairway woods. Most golfers spend more time practicing their full swings with mid irons like a seven and get used to that tempo. But as the club gets longer and heavier like the fairway woods, the tempo has to adjust accordingly. Let's compare the difference between a seven iron swing and a three wood swing. Notice how much faster and more compact the mid iron swing looks like, whereas the wood swing involves bigger motions and slower tempo. However, many golfers unknowingly use a seven iron tempo with a wood, which looks rushed, tense, and makes it difficult to make a decent contact. If you are struggling with your woods, we need to work on adjusting your tempo first. And here's the Amy Fight drill. All you need is the precision impact tool and a tennis ball. You're going to put on the precision impact tool like so. We're gonna work on setting the club at the top, which is gonna give us the pause and also allowing our body to start down swing instead of the arms. If you don't set the club at the top, now your tempo is going to be thrown out the window. You're going to be missing that crucial pause at the top, allowing your body to start the down swing. If you're up here, you're not setting either your trail wrist would be very flat and have this upright looking back swing, or you could be going over swinging, just not resting that club in your trail index. When this happens now, the downswing is unable to start with the body, but usually starts with yanking down. It looks very rushed. When someone says you're fast, that's because you haven't set the club and haven't paused at the top and not using the body for the downswing. If you have this rushed tempo with this longest club in your bag, there is no way you can make any kind of decent contact. That's why a lot of people avoid hitting fairway woods. But after this Amy fight drill, you will love of your woods, I promise. You're going to focus on listening to the precision impact tool to make clicks at the top of the backswing from about halfway to the top. Three to five clicks is what you're focusing on. So go slow and then you will feel the club resting in your trail index. At this point, you have finished setting the club. This will give you a beautiful pause at the top and allowing your downswing to start with the body instead of the arms. These two things will help you get your tempo down no matter what fairway wood you have in your hands. Go ahead and make a couple practice swings, including the follow through now. Here are the clicks follow through. You probably notice when you first start to follow through that your set angle, the wrist angle is maintained in the downswing, allowing you to feel what lag is supposed to feel like. If you lag properly, you will be able to release correctly rather than scoop. This will not allow you to scoop. So keep going, get comfortable with the clicks and the lag. You probably notice that I'm starting to stay down low and also using more body to brush the ground because that set position is forcing me to lag, which makes me have to get lower to the ground and use more body since I'm not using hands or casting at all, which is a good thing. Once you are comfortable with this tool, we're gonna go ahead and add that tennis ball. So I've added a tennis ball about six inches in front of where your golf ball would be. We're gonna remove that golf ball and continue to make practice swings hitting that tennis ball. So here are the clicks and hit that tennis ball. At first, you may not be able to hit the tennis ball correctly, but the more you try, you're gonna feel that beautiful extension through the ball, which is going to allow you to gain more speed and also to gain better directional control. Here are the clicks and hit the ball. I want you to really concentrate on hitting the tennis ball because this is a soft ball, so you're able to hit really hard at it. This is really working for that speed and extension through the ball. Now, if you understand the two steps, we're gonna go ahead and hit some golf balls. The tennis ball is gone. You still see the tee the tennis ball used to be. I'm gonna leave it there just to remind myself that I'm not 
focusing on hitting the ball, but hitting past the ball, pretending to hit that tennis ball six inches in front of the golf ball. All right, I'm gonna hear the clicks and then focus on hitting that tennis ball. Whoa. Whoa. That was sent. Repeat these steps for about five minutes and then hit some regular shots. Aim to do this about five to 10 times in one range session. And when making regular swings, imagine hearing the clicks at the top of the backswing and hitting that tennis ball in front of the golf ball to maintain the correct tempo and extension. First step was to use a precision impact tool. It was to help you with your tempo, which helped you set the club at the top, creating a beautiful pause allowing you to start the downswing with the body instead of your arms. This tool helped you to keep that wrist angle at the top, storing all that energy and power, helping you to lag correctly and releasing correctly, and also helped you with a beautiful weight shift. What? Second step, the tennis ball drill. You're to hit the tennis ball about six inches in front of where the ball would be. It helps you to speed through the ball and also to extend through beautifully, which helps you to gain more directional control and more distance. I highly recommend you to try both steps and you'll be very surprised at how fast you start hitting your three woods beautifully than ever before. Thank you guys so much for golfing with me today and see you in the next one. Mwah.